As long as you can, you know, kind of physically manage it from the front, I think it's... But this, you know, I'm traveling fairly light. If people have larger pieces, but they have an option, as you say, they've got a bigger one. So wheelchairs and all that, they'll come for the bigger one, That's right? That's the plan, right? yeah. yeah. But uh, you're traveling light. It could be a little more difficult if you had bigger luggage, yes. I guess. When this station's busy and there's people going in two directions, mm -hmm. Uh, I'm thinking this is maybe a little complicated. It probably will, but I mean, people, I mean, the locals will adjust. But again, I just know, say, my experience was like in Montreal, and I mean, people were really, like, they would yell at you and everything if you were holding up things. I mean, they weren't very polite there, especially, I think, if they knew that you were English. But um, hopefully, people will be a little more tolerant and patient here. West Coast, we tend to be. So they would yell at you if you yeah. didn't know what you were doing yes. and you're holding things up. Yes. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That I've <laughs> never had that happen here. Okay. I've only and at any time. I mean, no, I'm I'm fairly you know familiar with Vancouver, but buses or anything, I always have. I don't. I feel comfortable. I can ask, and people always, you know, will will help. Idea of fare gates, good idea. I think so. Yeah, I think it seems to be uh, you know uh, abused from what I've been reading. You know, the whole transit system. So. It's a big cost and uh, someone's got to pay for it. I don't have a problem with it.